That was a young man linked to the deadly attack on a Lebanon couple claiming he's innocent. Police say 19-year-old Zachariah Wright is a person of interest in the home invasion that led to the murder of a 73-year-old man and injured that man's wife. Wright calls the crime very violent but says he had no part in it. He spoke with Eyewitness News reporter David McAnally from jail after a hearing on an unrelated probation violation. In his jailhouse interview here, Zachariah Wright said he agreed to talk because he's done nothing wrong. Zachariah Wright stayed cool and kept to his story. Did you attack the Fosters in their home Sunday morning? Do you know who did it? And the 19-year-old says he doesn't know why police would name him a person of interest in the stabbing death of 73-year-old Max Foster. Foster and his wife, who was seriously hurt, were attacked in their home about 7 o'clock Sunday morning. So you're saying you were home at the time of the attack on the Fosters? Yes. Wright says he got home here, where he rents a room about 5.30 or 6 Sunday morning, up to 90 minutes before the attack. But the man he pays rent to says... I didn't see him until 10 o'clock yesterday morning when he came home. How did he seem then? He seemed like he was a little uh, upset. Not really upset, I should say. He seemed like he was drunk. Or high on something, Bountwell says. Uh, I was not intoxicated by, by any substance. Is it possible that something happened and you do not remember the attack on the Fosters? No, that's not possible. Did he come in at 10 o'clock with no shirt, no shoes? And as far as what he said about all that, I mean, like I said... I don't think I should really say anything else. And, you know, I gave the statement to the police. What happened to the clothes? Did you discard those to get rid of evidence? No. Were those bloody shirts and bloody shoes? No. Mike Boutwell didn't call police, but says he was about to later in the afternoon when he learned more about the deadly attack. He says someone else in the house who heard what Zach Wright was talking about called the police. From what Zach had said to me and from what I noticed about his appearance, I would have been calling the police myself. I've never harmed anybody in my life. I've never done anything in my life. Um, I've never even been in a fist fight before other than, you know, wrestling with my brother and stuff. Um, I, I'm just not that type of person. And even for Mike, who saw Zachariah as a good kid who needed a home. We're talking cold-blooded murder here. I mean, it just doesn't seem like him at all. They're holding right here on an unrelated probation violation and $50,000 bond. John. All right, thank you. David McAnally in Boone County tonight. And these latest accusations against Wright are part of an already long rap sheet. Police named the 19-year-old as a person of interest in this attack. And he has a history of arrests and convictions for nonviolent crimes. Most recently, court records show that Wright pleaded guilty to a burglary last September. The state released him in April when he began three years of probation. But Wright broke the rules by drinking beer and then admitted to it to his probation officer. That led to his arrest yesterday on a probation violation at a home just a few minutes away from the murder scene. And even with Wright in jail tonight, the shock and sadness is evident in Lebanon. People who grew up here or moved to Lebanon to be safe are shaken by this random act of violence. It's very disturbing. It's very disturbing. Because I have children, and you just, as a mom, you, you want to make sure your children are in a safe environment. It, it does put you on edge. Uh, you can feel in the town uh, everyone is a little on edge after the murder, for sure. And Lebanon police are encouraging anyone who may have witnessed anything that has to do with this tragedy to call the department.